Todd and Phil. Um, I'm Kevin, your host. So we got the boys in the back from Todd and Phil. There's Brennan, Max, boy in the back, and Alex. Um, we're here to present our game to the stars. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and, and boy behind the computer who will be playing the game, Chris. So we have him. Um, and we we created a dying genre game called. I already said that. Uh, but it's a platformer. It is a platformer. Um, and as you guys know, platformers haven't really been seen recently. It's all been like shooters and stuff. So we decided to go out of the box and create a platformer, which is fun and great. Um, we got our name dot info by creating this game. We looked up sheep info because the main character of our game is a sheep, and the website we looked up it was all about sheep. It was wonderful. It's called Sheep One Hundred One. Sheep One Hundred One. So, Sheep One Hundred One info. And at the end of that, we took that dot info and made it our name. Pretty great, right? So, anyway, the concept of the game is to collect rocket parts because this sheep is trying to make it to the moon. He wants to go to the stars. He wants to get on this boring planet. He wants to go far. So we start off in a very um, nice green hill hills area. This is our first level. Notice the music. Everything you see here is original. We've made static static meshes. We've made uh, custom materials, everything. Everything is custom. Uh, besides some of the um, sounds, but that's okay. So this is the first level. This is the tutorial level. What we wanted to go with here is to ease you through the, the game. We're not, we have signs that tell you like the controls and stuff, but we don't have any like annoying pop-ups or long cutscenes or long dialogue, which everyone here loves, I just know. Um, and it teaches you how, how to play the game through the gameplay, which is what, what we were going for. So, Chris will demonstrate that here. So we got these signs, like I said. This shows you uh, to jump over these. Yeah, over here. There you go. See, not too, it's not too hard. It's something that easy, easy that you can go through. Nice and fun. Not challenging. Something you would expect from starting a game for the first time. Alright, made it through that one. That was a close one. So this shows you double jump, which is a bit weird. Because you have to hit it at a certain point here, right here. You gotta know. It tells you the timing of the jump. You gotta hit right at the arc. What happens if you don't? If you don't, then you screw up the... Uh, the platforming, you fall and you gotta start over. Or if you're lucky, you'll make it. We got moving platforms here. Oh, we didn't make it. See, that's what happens if you screw up the double jump. <laughs> so many tries before you die, or is there any? There, no, you, you, can, you got unlimited tries here. For this tutorial level, you cannot lose, you cannot fail. You just keep going through it until you really, this is just to learn the game. Keep it that in mind. Um, this is where it shows you about moving platforms. So you get the hang of that. Um, so we went for a kind of cartoony look. You can tell by the trees and, and the grass and all that it's really cartoony, really good looking to the eyes, easy to look at, you know. Not too um, detailed, which is nice sometimes. And you just want a nice casual platforming game. Here we go, it's some um, wobbling platforming. This part's kind of hard, but it, what, what would you expect for the final, final thing here? <coughs> All right, good job, Chris. We defeated the first tutorial level. Give a hand to Chris. <laughs> Here we go, and we're gonna have a cutscene here. So I don't know, it's kind of quick. There was some voice, and we had voice acting there, and that was an animation showing that you were going to the um, 
the research lab here for uh, your spaceship parts to collect them. Oh, but this is there's a door here with an X showing you cannot go through it. So mean, that means that you have to be a level prior to that to get into it. So we're going to show you that here. Some platforming, nothing too crazy. It is just a, a normal basic hub world to get to the levels. Platform moves up into the level. Loading screen. Happy trees. Yep. So this is the first level. Uh, as you can see, it looks very intimidating. Like the, my first time seeing this, I, I would be scared. But as you play through it, it's not so bad. Check it out. We got this um, moving ball, moving hammer, and that's a fist. So be careful for that. Oh, almost got hit by it. There we go. Made it through the level. Not so bad, right? Nice and easy. All right, let's move on. All right, so we got the first rocket part. Two more to go. That unlocked the second level. More loading screen. So this level introduces lava and moving platforms. Um, the lava, this is where things get difficult. If you fall in this level or you know, get your timing wrong, you will fall into the lava and then you will have to um, respawn at the uh, castle and then retry this level. So, yeah. But as you can tell, those were starting to fall down. I don't know if you can tell it. <laughs> All right, halfway there. Well, more than half, actually, but on to the next. This is the final level of the level. Wait, this is the final level. <laughs> As you can see, we had that um, where you fall into the level. I thought that was pretty cool. So it's like a part of the whole hub world. Um, here you got a mixture of everything that you have learned so far. We got lava, moving platforms, Jumping, double jumping, and moving. Kind of difficult here. It's more about the flow. You kind of just want to go, you know. Doing good so far. This is a bigger jump. Let's see if you can do it. Oh, you did it. Here we got some climbing platforms. All right. And now you can just fall. You can just fall off these platforms, which which seems to be fun when I was making it. So, all right. So here we got two paths. You can go left. You can go right. Depends on your play style. If you like to go uh, for a challenge, go to the left. If you like to uh, jump a little bit, go to the right. The right has an easier platforming to it because I wanted to make sure that the player could actually beat the game and not fail on the left. The left one's really difficult and we even have a hard time beating it sometimes. It takes a lot of timing, practice, and skill. Made from legends. Alright, we're almost there. You can tell the music stops to increase the intensity. Like, right now you're just almost getting nervous. We're almost there. Moment of truth. on there. Pretty nice. We got the music by Jacob Artner. He's um, a friend of all of ours and we were very thankful for him to help us out with the, the music. We got the narrator, <laughs> narrator Colin. He helped us out too. So.